What should researchers take responsibility for when they're conducting research that could have dual-use implications? Should researchers take responsibility for the intention of their research? Or for risks they could reasonably foresee? Or for all potential consequences of their research? Let's use the horsepox virus example to take a look at some of the implications of this. First, let's look at the researchers' intentions. The scientists stated that their intention was to demonstrate a proof of concept and to aid the development of better smallpox vaccines. But this was likely only one of multiple intentions. Recognition of their skill, the attention of funders, and career progression could all be additional factors. However, it's not unusual to have multiple intentions, and it has not been thought that the scientists had any kind of malicious intent. So if intentions are all that matters, this would mean that the researchers were absolved of their responsibilities. Now let's look at what researchers could reasonably foresee. Since the researchers synthesized horsepox virus using a technique that could be applied to smallpox, it seems clear that the scientists could reasonably foresee that the research would pose a dual-use dilemma. And so what researchers might reasonably foresee could be the standard by which researchers are held to account. However, in practice, it might not be that simple to set the standard. What standard is reasonable to expect of a researcher in judging dual-use risks? If a completely unforeseen dual-use risk dilemma arises, for instance, an accidental discovery, should that absolve the researcher of responsibility? Finally, let's look at all the consequences of research. If someone had managed to use this research to weaponize smallpox, it could have had devastating effects on the world. Would it be these researchers' fault? While in this case, you might think they would be somewhat responsible, it would be unfair to hold researchers to account for all unpredicted consequences of their work. This suggests the need for increased consideration of an expert body to help researchers make difficult decisions about weighing risks and benefits. While it is a complicated issue since scientific research remains a competitive endeavor, researchers should not have to grapple with these issues in isolation.